If you have ever been in love, you would have literally felt the lyrics of the iconic song. कुछ तो हुआ है फ्रॉम कल हो ना हो सब कुछ अलग है सब कुछ नया है कुछ तो हुआ है कुछ हो गया है यस समथिंग डेफिनेटली हैपेंस टू योर बॉडी व्हेन यू फॉल इन लव बट कॉन्ट्ररी टू व्हाट पॉप कल्चर वुड हैव यू बिलीव लव हैज मोर टू डू विद द ब्रेन देन द हार्ट Over the years, MRIs have shown that when someone is shown a picture of the person they are romantically involved with, the part of the brain that produces dopamine lights up. Here's why this happens. The first stage is infatuation. When you like someone, your brain increases the production of testosterone and estrogen, inducing a desire to be with them. The second stage is attraction or attachment. As time passes, the brain produces more adrenaline and dopamine. Adrenaline causes anxiety, excitement, and restlessness, which is literally the butterflies in the stomach feeling that we talk about. Dopamine kindles the brain's reward department. The third stage is relationships. Oxytocin, or the love chemical, finally comes into the picture thanks to skin-to-skin contact. Not to forget vasopressin, which induces feelings of protectiveness and possessiveness. Interestingly, when in love, the brain more often than not ignores red flags because the neural pathways responsible for rational thinking get shut off. Not just that, the brain might also perceive love as an addiction. But love can't be generalized, no. Dr. Kamna Chibber, a mental health expert. told the quint that people's romantic expectations are often influenced by how and where they grew up their peers their past experiences etc there are psychosocial elements at play too but one thing is for sure pyar mila to dil nahi dimag kho gaya hai